Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. Uh, this time going on, uh, we're still working on the, uh, on the hammer. Uh, we got 30 of them to make and we're still pretty, uh, pretty well advanced. Robert just came in last night and he dropped me uh, a, few of the, a few of the handles. Uh, now we got them all, but we uh, stain test on uh, different flavors of wood. Uh, the results are, uh, I would say to my eye, uh, pretty, uh, pretty stunning, pretty nice. Uh, we got uh, four or five flavor, different flavors, and uh, they look uh, they look uh, awesome. I think uh, he did a super job, Robert. We're pretty uh, we're pretty proud of uh, what the team uh, has put up so far. With you know, uh, also, Philip, be careful. My new student is uh, really working hard at studying the black book here. I mean. Uh, I think he's uh, looking for a newbie place, so uh, get to be a pro soon because he, he's, in, he's in for your place. He's been, watching the, uh, he's been watching me machining and I think he's learning fast, so get on with it. Keld, I know that uh, my table's a mess. You've been at me for a while and I'm getting a little bit depressed, but things are better now. Uh, I got your doctor's name and he prescribed me a few, <laughs> a few medication, I had a few doses so far, and I'm going better. Uh, challenge this week, or this time, is to uh, get this, uh, this head matched up with the uh, handle body. The thing has to be uh, screwing in, screwing in smoothly, so the uh, spaces, concentricity on the uh, both parts is very very crucial on this for this uh, particular episode i hired uh, philip as a newbie on the milling machine he hired me as a newbie cameraman too uh he's gonna elaborate on how the the heads made make things con concentric and uh, very close uh, tolerances for a close fit also uh, philip started to upload uh, some of the parts he did uh, in his home shop uh, it's uh, Philip's uh, channel is called uh, Phil's Projects. You're uh, highly invited to go and uh, see what he did, how he does it. And uh, with, uh, like he would say himself, with, uh, without f uh, any further bobbling, let's uh, let Philip do the talking. Machines, milling machines right over there. Hi, and welcome to Phil's Projects. Uh, today I'm here at uh, Pierre's Garage, my great buddy Pierre. And uh, what we're doing today is we're um, Drilling, tapping, counter boring, uh, the heads for the what's in your box hammers. Um, a lot of steps involved in this uh, seemingly little task. A um, bit of Pierre's help, I think we figured out a, a way to do it uh, as quickly as possible and as uh, good as possible. So, um, without further babbling, here we go. Um, the hammer heads were done to a loose dimension so there's a variance in the length of each one um, yeah you can see in the mill the way uh, in the mill vice the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna put uh, it in that orientation in the vice and in order to get the same center every time um, what I uh, came up with is that uh, we're using a gauge block uh, 130 thal gauge block and what that gives me is a range of other blocks I can use left or right so the uh, one of the pieces that was right on size uh, we put in uh, one, uh, 130 thal um, gauge block and uh, the small we take half the variance uh, in plus or minus depending uh, you know uh, which way the, the part goes so in order to be always perfectly centered on the part um, we're centered on the Y, we're not touching the X axis, we're only using the gauge blocks to uh, set up. And give it a good grunk. And that just comes out. So that's set there. Uh, first operation is we're going to use a centering drill and uh, we're going to drill down. That's, uh, is that back? Yes. I get to play with the big toys today, man. This is so much fun. Alrighty, table down. Everything's clear. Gonna give it a nice deep, uh, I'm in low gear.
get about uh, 300. Okay, now we're going to switch to an uh, undersized end mill for the um, counter bore for the handle. Uh, let's get that back up. Lock. I'm really happy he's got power feet on this knee because it's got to weigh about a thousand pounds. We're going to touch off with the end mill, lock the quill, zero the Z, back off a little bit. Uh, going to go up for about uh, 150 RPMs and we're going to go down uh, 200 thousandths of an inch. That's 100, 150, 200 okay so we got that part done uh, purposely did undersize on the uh, counter bore for the handle because we're going to finish it off uh, with a three-quarter inch uh, Niagara cutter and uh, right now what we're going to do is uh, drill countersink um, tap and once we've done uh, those three operations, well, we'll be up to the finishing. So uh, we opted to use multiple tool holders instead of doing a lot of tool changes. It's keeping things pretty quick. That's locked. Very good. Start. We're gonna go to uh, uh, 280. What I'm gonna do now is um, bring down the drill bit just so I'm getting the full diameter. Lock off my quill, zero my Z, back it off just a bit, and I'm going to be uh, going in uh, about 625, so that's a lot of cranking. Zeroed. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four.
500. Got that down, countersink. Gonna slow that down a little. About 120, bring the table up. go for the high-risk part. A bit too high. <sighs> okay, 120. I'll slow that down to about 100. Uh, move it up. Rear tap. You! All right, finger on the off button. Oh, here we go again. That's a good chuck. Table down. And we'll uh, finish that off by hand. All right, Greenfield, number 15. Let's bring this to the bottom. You know what, I'll run the uh, bottoming tap. This is where it gets scary. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. I'm not going to push my luck. anymore. All right, so the one step left. Is using that puppy. So we're going to repeat the uh, same procedure. We're going to touch off zero and then uh, we're going to go down to 225 just to clean up the seat at the bottom. the quill, zero the Z, and uh, we'll run the same 120. Touching C at 200 thou on the other bottom. We'll give it another 25. Now 
now we got to try the handle. Bring that locket through the, the cover back on it. Get you guys in there. That's about as perfect a fit as you would want to get. Another one down. We got about, uh, I don't know, 20 or so to go. Uh, progressing well. Uh, wearing the proper gear today for the occasion. So uh, really happy to have my shirt. And uh, you know what, we'll uh, catch you on the next little installment, uh, either on uh, Pierre's Garage or we'll, if it's Robert, it'll be Pierre's channel also. So uh, stay tuned, keep up to date on the hammers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bozo! Bozo! Bozo. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, keep in touch, uh, please, uh, you like the video, thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, uh, working on a lot of projects. You got something in your glasses. Yeah, wait, I'm, let me <laughs> crush it. I got a hammer now, I can crush it. If uh, I had a hammer. hammer. <laughs> Don't give up your day job, Pierre. Huh? Don't give up your day job. No, no, no. no You're no. a better machinist than singer. <coughs> okay, so... Um, Thanks for stopping by. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, Pierre's Garage, you must. Uh, awesome teacher, awesome mentor. And I'm really fortunate to have somebody like him uh, close by. Go see uh, Phil's projects too. I mean, he's getting good. I managed to do what I want to do, so it's getting there. All right, so we'll uh, catch you next time. Bye. Hey, not bad, taking a quarter.